Kiri has a couple of new features in cam mode, uh, and I'm very pleased with the way they're turning out. So I want to show you how to use them and what it means. Make sure you're in cam mode. I have this little torture test part that I've been using. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is um, depth first um, pocketing. So uh, this is going to save time because it's going to stay within the region for cuts. Um, I disable facing for this test. Um, and the linear finishing just so you can see what this looks like. Tweak some parameters here for a step over, step down um, as well in the finishing pass. So let's see what this looks like in the traditional uh, way without depth first enabled. So when we slice it, we'll see the paths. If we want to, we can step down and see the roughing and finishing passes. Um, and if I go to preview mode, we can take a look at what this would look like for normal passing. So it would do layer by layer, one, two, three, four, all the way down, and then it go back down for that. And that's obviously fine, but we can speed that up quite a bit by turning on depth first, re-slicing the part. And when we go into our preview mode and step through it again, we'll notice that it cuts down pocket at a time like this. So that's pretty nice. Um, there's one further feature that you can do here, which is kind of cool, um, and that is to turn on ease down. Um, and if we re-slice it with ease down, uh, we can notice something kind of nice in the way that it's cutting. Go to preview, uh, go back to this, and we're going to notice that uh, each of the, each time it goes down, it's actually curving down on the cut like this. And what that does, the spirals that you see in here is allow the tool to engage faster while it's cutting. Okay, So all the way through down like this, if we go from a side profile, we'll notice these spiral cut downs. So that's actually uh, super useful. And the other thing that I want to talk about is for linear finishing. This, in a way, is actually um, going to be even more useful. So uh, I'm going to turn on uh, linear finishing in a normal way. Um, without the curves only turned on, let's slice this and take a look at the output. Here we'll see the oops, uh, traditional XY finishing. That grid is not tight enough. I'm actually going to uh, tighten up the step over so that we're going to end up with a, a, a tighter, a tighter finish on this part, and then take a look at what this is uh, going to do for us. Normally, the linear finishing, you'll notice, uh, covers the entire part, the entire part face. Um, and what we really want to do is uh, limit this finishing to the features that are curved, these curved spaces right here. So if I go back, I'm um, going to turn this off so you can see it better, and go in here and turn on curves only, and re-slice this thing, um, you'll notice something, uh, I think, quite nice, which is it's going to limit the, the cuts to the areas that actually have curvature, right? Um, because essentially the roughing and even waterline finishing is going to take care of the flat spots and the walls. And the linear finishing, you really just want it to cover these, these areas of curvature where you want it to sort of highlight and accentuate those features. And so when we go and, and look at the way that's going to be cut out, ta-da, we have this sort of nice finishing feature right there. So a combination of these two things, the, the depth first pocketing and the um, curves only finishing, is going to uh, allow you to cut your part a lot faster um, and still get the same level of uh, detail and quality that you're going to want from that. So I hope you um, I hope you enjoyed this and make use of those features. Please give me some feedback when you get a chance. Uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thanks.